Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Amazon African Motives, uh, still on electrical trade theory and two, working on uh, question papers uh, that is uh, on measuring instruments. We have got a question that we are going to focus with from uh, the question paper of November 2022. We are given uh, on 10.1, that is the first part that we are given, 10.1 uh, in this case, a moving coil instrument uh, having an internal resistance of 10 ohms. So take note, you are, you are given a moving instrument. It has got an internal resistance. So this is the resistance of the meter, uh, which gives a full scale deflection when 10 milliamps passes through it. Okay, so we are given the resistance on the meter, which is the 10 ohms and also the current which is flowing through the meter which is 10 milliamps that is on the instruments that's your meter in this case then we are asked to calculate the value of a resistor to be used with the instrument so that it can measure a current of 1 amp so this is the total current that is supposed to be measured which is a uh, 1 amp so what is the, the question is calculate the value of the resistor to be used. So this resistor, how is it going to be connected so that we can measure a total current of one amp in this case. Okay, so from uh, our shunt resistor, uh, we are going to see that we are going to have our resistor in this format. We are going to have our instrument in this format here. So this is where we are having our instrument like this, okay? So this instrument is actually taking in a certain current, which is the current that is flowing through the meter at a full scale deflection, which is the 10 milliamps. So we are given this as 10 milliamps, having its resistance, which is the resistance of the meter of 10 ohms. So we want this instrument to accommodate or to carry a current which is now 1 amp. But at the full scale deflection, we can only have 10 milliamps across this resistor, which is the meter. So meaning to say the rest of the current is going to flow through another path of the circuit. But which way? Where is it going to flow through? It is going to flow through another resistor, which we refer to as the shunt resistor so that this circuit can accommodate a total current now of one amp which is now flowing into the circuit but the rest of the current is flowing into the other branch because here we can only accommodate 10 milliamps at a full scale deflection so the rest of the current is going to pass through the shunt resistor so that's why we have to calculate this one the shunt so this is what we have so this is, we are going to have our shunt resistor. We are given the total current, meaning to say we can calculate the current that is in the shunt in this case. So we can calculate the shunt uh, current receives from our kitchens. We know that the current flowing is equal to the current flowing away from this, from the junction, which is the point. So one amp is flowing in. So meaning to say the total current the total current of one amp is equal to IM plus ISH, which is uh, 10 milliamps. That's 10 times 10 to the exponent of minus three plus the current in the shunt. So we can calculate our shunt current by transposing. This is going to be one minus 10 times 10 to the exponent of minus three, which is uh, going to give us the shunt current in this case. So if we subtract, uh, this is going to give us uh, 0 0.99. So this is the shunt, the rest of the current. Since we said we can only accommodate 10 milliamps in this uh, meter, the rest of the current is going to pass through the shunt resistor, which is this one. So which means in this shunt, we are going to remain with the 0 0.99 amps. So how can we calculate this, our shunt resistor? We can use our formulas for voltages since we know that uh, uh, from our formula, the product, uh, in this case, the product of uh, IM, the product of IM 
and RM in parallel gives us the voltage across the meter, which is equal to the voltage across the shunt, which is the product of the shunt current to the resistor of the shunt. So to find RSH, we can divide by the shunt current for size by the shunt uh, current for size. So that means in this case, we can remain with the resistor of the shunt in this case, which is RSH. So RSH is equivalent to IM, the current in the meter at full scale deflection times the resistor, the resistance of the meter and uh, divided by the shunt current. So we can substitute the values that we are given. The current in the meter, that is this one that we have IM, which is 10 milliamps. So this can be written as 10 times 10 to the exponent of minus three times RM, the resistor of the meter, which is 10 ohms. Everything over the shunt current, which is the one that we got from the idea that the total current is flowing. So it's going to be subtracted from the total current uh, so that we can have this, our shunt current of 0 0.99. All right, so with this, we can determine the value of the shunt resistor in this case, which is our shunt resistor is going to be 0, 0.1010101 and so forth. So this is going to be 0, 0.10 in ohms. So that's 0, 0.101 in ohms. So that is what we are going to obtain in this case. All right, so that was our first part of the question. Uh, working with a measuring instrument. So it's not that much. If we actually understand our diagram and what are we going to have at the end, even these, some of the formulas, they're not even necessary. We just need to know uh, the actual part or the final formula, which is uh, which can give us the final answer, which is the same as the one that we got. On 10.2, we are now given with the aid of a labeled diagram, can you show how an ammeter can be connected in a low voltage circuit to measure the current flow uh, flowing through it. Remembering that the connection of an ammeter is always in series with the load. So this is what we have. So we are given, uh, if we've got our supply in this case, so the ammeter is in series with the load. If it is a voltmeter, it's connected in a parallel, but an ammeter is connected uh, uh, in a series in this case. So this is what we are supposed to get rid or to take note of. So that's your ammeter in this case in series. All right, so that's what we had guys from Amazon African Motives on uh, electrical trade theory N2 till we meet again.